Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, hi. My name is Brittany and my channel name is pronounced Bratterstein. Like Brat and Catterstein, but Bratterstein. You feel me? So today's video is one that I've been wanting to film for a while but I have been lazy and procrastinating on it just because of the volume of product to discuss and that's pretty much the gist of it. So today's video is going to be me showing you my eyeshadow palette collection. <sighs> I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. Um, I don't know why because up until fairly recently I hadn't really been messing around with eyeshadow quite as much, but even though I was one to not mess with it that much, I was definitely one to buy them, all of them, all the time, every time they launched. Didn't matter, just bought it, and here we are. Yeah. Um, along with all of the purchasing of palettes, I also get BoxyCharm, which if you don't know what BoxyCharm is, I will link a video for you up here so that you do know what BoxyCharm is, but uh, we always get eyeshadow palettes in there too, so it just helps the collection grow and grow. And I guess in terms of a YouTube er a youtuber of a beauty youtuber Ugh, that seems weird too as a person who puts on makeup on youtube um my collection probably isn't as large and extensive as some of those people's are but for an average consumer this is a bit extreme and i know that but i can't help it because i like it mm -hmm. so i'm gonna go ahead and get into showing you all of the eyeshadow palettes I have, um, and I think what I'll do is, I can't swatch every shade in every palette, but I think what I'll do is, for each palette I'll pull at, pull them out, and I'll swatch my favorite couple shades from each palette, and then show them to you so you can see, and then go from there. Does that sound good? You wanna do that? Let's do that. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out new videos every week, beauty and fitness related, yes. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, or if you like eyeshadow palettes, or if you just like me. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up, that'd be cool. And just leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite eyeshadow palette is out of this, or if your favorite eyeshadow palette isn't included in my collection, please tell me which one I need to buy, because I'm not opposed to buying eyeshadow palettes, as I'm sure you'll gather from this video. And without any more talking, let's start acting right now. If you would like to see my eyeshadow palette collection. Just keep on watching. Gotta water up the pipes for all the talking we're gonna be doing. Uh. Okay, I'm trying to think of if I should, sorry if you can hear the sirens. I live on a street. No matter where I am in my house, you can hear it. I can't do anything about it, I'm so sorry. And I used to think uh, filming late at night would be good so that you wouldn't hear as many cars. But even with the box lights that I got that I was so excited about, uh, the lighting's still kind of garbage, so it's much better for me to film for you if you want to see. I mean, if you don't mind seeing things, I guess I could film at night. But if you want good lighting, the audio's got... It, it, yeah, it's 22, right? Right. It's either good audio or good lighting, and I think the good lighting is more important because you can still hear me because I got this microphone right here. Can you hear me? Yes? Good. Let's go. What I think I'm gonna start with first is my Morphe palettes and get those out of the way because I know some people are not all about that Morphe life. So I figure I'll just get those out of the way now so you don't have to worry about them later. Sound good? Good. I do not have a ton of Morphe palettes. I actually only have three left. I had another one. I had the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette, but I had never used it, like ever. And a friend of mine really, really wanted it. So I gave it to her because I was like, I have all this and you don't have this and you really want this. So here, take this. So. So the first one I have here, actually let's start with the first one I bought from Morphe, which can you guess what it is? Can you guess what eyeshadow palette I bought first from Morphe? Comment down below, because I know you know. Morphe 35O, because everyone had to have the Morphe 35O. If you are unfamiliar, this was their most popular palette. Um, I haven't touched it in a while, if I'm honest with you, because I, ha I just have so much. And the shimmers that I have used out of this, I don't love. I gotta be honest with you, they, they kind of crease like a... But this shade right here, I dug into quite a bit, 
and it's a nice palette. I can't seem to part with it is the thing. I've done palette cleanses and for whatever reason I cannot seem to let go of this palette even though I never reach for it. Um, let's see, let me show you my favorite shades. Okay, so there's some right there. To be fair, this one's really my only favorite shade in this palette, but I figured you guys, if you hadn't seen it, you would want to see these two shades because they're like the standout shades in the palette. So I decided to swatch those and show them to you there. But this one honestly is like the only standout in that palette for me. It's the one my eye goes to. But honestly, if any palette has this shade, that's where my eye goes. I love the mustard shadows. I love them under my lower lash line with just a wing. That's like my favorite look with like a reddish orange lipstick that color and a wing choice i never say choice i don't know why i said that okay so the next morphe palette i have this one when i saw the reveal of this one i was just like i have to buy it like the color scheme in it is actually really gorgeous and i did use it when i first got it but i haven't touched this one in a while either i don't know what that is you'll see that that's a common theme with all the palettes because i buy palettes and i don't use palettes so this is the morphe 35r it's got the warm tones and the mauvey tones this whole area over here is all shimmers. This shade right here, oh my god. And this color family speaks to me for sure. Okay, so the standout shadows in this palette are these three here. This is obviously that beautiful gold shade. And then we have this one here and this one down here. And that's the three there. Super pretty. This color family, I should pull this to the top of my uh, palettes because I love this color scheme. And that gold is so pretty. Like, is it not though? Is it not though? You know it is, you know it is. All right, and the last Morphe palette I have is the Morphe X Kathleen Lights palette. This thing's a little beat up. I tried to debot the black one because I used it as a brow powder and I shattered it. But this palette is just so pretty to me. I think Kathleen did a really good job of picking good tones that would go together but also give you a variety of looks you've got cool tones you've got warm tones it's just gorgeous it's got that mustard shade which you know i love this green i did a look with beautiful beautiful palette that i never touch ever in life so those are the standout shades for me in this palette it is that green shade there the beautiful mustard and then this dark maroon super pretty super nice palette it's not available anymore so i'm sorry but it I was really excited to get it. I think I got it on the second launch because I missed it the first launch. And I'm one of those people, Kathleen Lights is my favorite YouTuber. Um, well, her and Raw Beauty Christie. And so everything that she released, I, I like bought, especially back then. Now it's like, all I do is buy all of her polishes. But if her name was on it for a hot second, I, I was buying it. Just because like, I liked her and I wanted to support her. And that might be weird because I don't know her and she doesn't know me, but you know what? Okay, next one I have here is the Studio Makeup On The Go palette. This is the Warm Up palette. I loved this palette. I don't know if you can see the dents in some of those shades, but I use this palette so much. I actually use this palette on my wedding day because I loved it. I loved it and I haven't used it in so long, but it's a really good like everyday palette. And then you got this little business right there to give you a pop of color. I just think it's great. I very much like it. I got a lot of use out of it. I haven't used it in a while, but I should pull it back out. All right, those are the three shades that are stand out to me. That's that mid middle copper shade. That's the shade right here. And then this one is actually this one. This was my most used shade in this palette. I would always use that in my crease, even if I wasn't doing anything else. I just like it. The next palette I have is the sister palette to that one. It is from the same brand, and this is their cool down palette. Same packaging, just cool tone shades. I didn't get as much use out of this palette as I got out of the last one and that's just because in general I'm not so much of a cool tone person. I want to get more into it because anytime I do it I'm like you know what this kind of looks bomb on me but then I go right back to the warm tones. So I haven't gotten as much use out of this as I could. I, I actually really like this purple shade and this gray shade here so I, maybe I should bust it out. But the quality is good. It's the same as the other one only cool tone shades. And see there the shadows are super pigmented and super easy like to swatch you see how reflective that is this one is this one and this one are the shades that i have on my hand and like it's a beautiful palette but you know what my biggest issue is i never ever know what kind of lip to do with a cool toned eye look anybody else who can relate oh all right next what i have here is this palette here this is from the brand from crown pro i have not ever used this palette yet um and i think honestly it's because the package throws me off it's got like a guitar here and then the mirror is a little guitar and I don't know it just feels so juvenile to me and I know that's such a first world problem like let me not use this eyeshadow palette because the packaging is douchey I know 
but for whatever reason I never grab it because of that. And the colors, though pretty, aren't anything that I gravitate towards either. I don't know what it is because when I look at them I'm like these would all make bomb lid shades because they're pretty much, there's some satins in here, but they're mostly lid shades in, in my opinion and they are pretty, but I have never put this on my eyes. I should use this. I should use this. I don't know why I don't use this. This shade right here looks so pretty, but I, I don't, I don't use this palette. I need to use this palette. I need to use these palettes. I feel like this palette is full of unique shades, though they might not be something I normally gravitate towards and it might not be packaging that I like. Like, it's a guitar with wings. What am I? Either way, I think the color scheme is unique and I feel like there's shades in here that I do not have. Like, I don't have anything like these two here. A lot of these are unique shades and I need to use this palette. And that's what part of the reason I keep it. Even though I haven't used it, I keep it because I feel like it's unique and it's unique to my collection. And I have trouble getting your eyeshadow palettes anyway, so. All right, another one I have here is from the band, is from the brand Duce, I believe is what it's called. And this is their Freematic Eyeshadow Pro Palette. This one I'm not gonna swatch, but I'm gonna show you because I have never touched this and I feel like I want to give it to my grandma. I feel like she would like this. It seems her speed. It seems like a more mature palette in general, just even looking at it. It just doesn't feel very me. And my best friend got this as well in her boxy chart or her Fab Fit Fun box. And she said the same thing that it just seems like a mature palette, like less pigmented, more subtle. And that's not my jam. So I think I'm going to give it away. So I'm not going to swatch that, but I just wanted to show it to you because it is in my collection. This video is already so long and I have barely scratched the surface. Fudge. Next, I don't know why I don't have an order to this, but this palette here is the first higher end palette I ever bought myself and it is the Lime Crime Venus palette. First off, the packaging is gorgeous. Lime Crime kills it with packaging and honestly, even to still look at this, this palette is so pretty to me. Like the reason that I got this palette is these two shades, 100%. Sold me so quickly. And Divine was like my most used shade, which surprised me. But the reason I bought it is because I saw these and I was like, oh my God. And this pink right here, this is shell, is gorgeous. And the quality is actually still really good on these. I know people like hate Lime Crime. Do they still hate Lime Crime? They did hate Lime Crime, but you can't deny that their shadows are good, at least in this palette. All right, so there is Creation, Muse, and Shell. Bop, bop, bop. Such pretty colors. I need to use this palette too. Right next, I have another BoxyCharm palette. This is from the brand Winky, Winky Lux. Look at this packaging with a little meows. It sold me immediately, obviously. This is another one I haven't gotten to use much, but I have dipped into it. I did create a look with it. This purple is gorgeous. This shade is so special. It reminds me so much of Glass Bowl from ColourPop. It's funny, I bought Glass Bowl, I got it delivered, and then right after I got this palette, and I was like, oh, okay, now I got two of those shades, because I need two of those shades, you know what I mean? But beautiful palette, haven't gotten to use it much, but from what I did see, it is a nice eyeshadow palette. Those are the shades right there. Look at that shade on top. Like, are you serious? That's that one right there that I told you about. It's such a, do you see how reflective that is? I need to use that. Imagine that as an inner corner highlight. It would be beautiful, is my point. And the name of this one is the Kitten Palette, which is fitting as there are kittens on the palette. Okay, next I got more BoxyCharm palettes. This is the Blink BoxyCharm Electric Eyes Palette. This is a collaboration with BoxyCharm. Uh, this is why it has the BoxyCharm logo on it. And it's just a palette of shimmers. And look at how beautiful those shimmers are. This is another one that I haven't really ever used, but I can't get rid of because it's beautiful. And these swatch, oh my God. Those are the three middle shades there. And can you even believe it? And this is why I hold on to this palette because it's insane. They feel like almost like cream shadows, but they're not. Um, I'd be worried that they might crease because of how mushy like they're just so soft and so pigmented and look at there's still so much on my fingers and so much on my hands they're just beautiful and i haven't gotten a chance to wear them on my eyes but i want to wear them on my eyes so i will wear them on my eyes and that's why i keep them another palette that is like that for me is another one i got in boxycharm it's from naked cosmetics and it is another like all cream but not cream like powders that are super soft for the lids palette 
how gorgeous is this? When I unboxed this, I was just like, oh my God, oh my God, that green, oh my God, it speaks to me, yet I've never put it on my eyes. Why do I do that? This is my problem. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it a hundred times. I'm sorry. Those are the shades right there. These ones are a little less um, creamy than the other ones. They feel a little more stiff, but not in a bad way. They just feel like they might not crease the way the other ones feel like they might, but they are just beautiful tones. Those feel like Halloween. Like to me, that's a hall, hall, fall palette if I ever saw a fall palette. And I do wanna use it, I just haven't. I need to find a way to store my palettes in a way where I can see them all all the time so that I can like pull them out. You know what I mean? Like the way I have it now, they're kind of stacked and you don't see them all. So if you have any suggestions on a way to store my makeup so that I can see my makeup and use my makeup, that would be great. Thank you in advance. Okay, the next palette I have that is similar in consistency to those two is this one here from Tarte. This is Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2. I don't have much to say about this one. I think the shades are pretty, uh, the formula is a little bit weird, especially since these are colors I would normally put in the crease. And I feel like that formula is going to be difficult to put in the crease. Um, but I haven't given it a fair shot. That's just what I think when I look at it. So those are the three shades there. And see, they're really pigmented and they have that like satiny, sheeny type of finish because that's just the type of palette that it is. And I just hold on to it because I want to use it. Okay, next one I have here is the littlest, littlest, the littlest tart, tartist pro to go. It is this one right here. Beautiful palette. I actually like this one a lot. The shade Divine here is so pretty and so unique. Like it's like pinky, but taupey, but brownie. It's a really pretty little shade if you don't want anything else in the eye and just to throw that in the crease i think it is beautiful this shade hype is also very very pretty though i don't think i've had a chance to use it these tarte products smell so good i forgot how soft these tarte shadows are but those are the shades right there that's that gold one and that one that i was trying to describe pinky brownie topi just very very pretty very nice little palette it'd be good for travel if you just needed like something that's a good everyday palette to throw in your bag that's a good one and it's pretty inexpensive since it is so small all right kat von d shade and light eye palette this is a palette that i never use except for this shade and i use that shade can you see the dent can you see the dent i use that shade every single day and that's my face contour i keep this palette for the shade i actually really want to depot it I tried, I don't know if you can see, there's little holes there for me trying to like dig it out with my uh, nail file. So I wanna give this palette to my friend because I know that she'll use it. These are her tones, but I need that out because I use that every single day. So if anyone knows how I can get that out without ruining it, please let me know because I'd like to give this to my friend so it's not wasted. I have a palette that's similar to this, which I guess I'll show you next just so you know what I'm talking about, um, that I like much better but I need that contour shade because it is perfect for my cheeks. Now, the other palette I have that is similar in idea to that one, but different, is this one from Tarte, which I love. This is one of my favorite palettes of all time, actually. This is the Tarte Clay Play palette. It smells like mother effing chocolate. It smells so good, and I love the shades in this. This is just a really good palette for me in my everyday life. This one under the lower lash line. This is a neutral girl's dream 100 percent 110 percent it's gorgeous all right and those are three of the shades right there swatch that would be this guy here this guy and this guy for you it's a good neutral everyday palette if this is still available pick it up when i bought it it was on 50 percent off 24 dollars for my favorite palette that's a good deal okay next my anastasia palettes i'll start with subculture which i keep because I've been able to make this work for me. Um, you just gotta take your time and build these slowly. But out of every palette I have, this is the most beautiful color scheme I've ever seen in my entire life. So even if it never worked and it was complete garbage, I would keep it for that purpose because when I look at it, it makes me happy. Like, and this is the palette that I have actually found a way to utilize. I don't use this as eyeshadow as often, but what I do utilize this for is colored eyebrows. When I wanna do a color on my eyebrows, this is what I grab. These shadows are so pigmented that it covers up the color of my brow hairs and it gives me these color eyebrows. How absolutely gorgeous is that? That is this guy here, this guy here, and this guy here. I, it's so pretty. Like I wish that this palette had a formula that everyone loved and could work with easily because the colors are just so beautiful that it hurts my soul 
like it feel I feel it deep within because it's perfect it's perfection but like so pigmented that it's not even coming off right now that's how pigmented it is all right next will be my first high-end palette I ever bought from Sephora and that's going to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills modern renaissance palette this thing has a soft spot in my soul it's like one of the only palettes I've hit pan on these two shades here this palette is so gorgeous it's so romantic and great and I love it and I used the absolute crap out of it as you can see um, I still will pull this out and use it if I want to do something in this family love letter is so gorgeous that when I want this kind of color this is the palette I grab for it <sighs> I don't know what it is but there's something so absolutely special about Anastasia eyeshadows it's like they have something that other people do but they change it and their tones are slightly different and it's just I love it and last on the Anastasia train is their newest release the soft glam palette that's another one that's got like tones that are just different it's a palette that's not especially unique in the color scheme but there's something about the undertones that is just so special that shade rustic is so beautiful mm, it's so pretty okay right there we have sienna rustic and bronze I mean they speak for themselves don't they they're just beautiful shadows and this formula is back to the modern renaissance standard so people were very happy with that palette as they should be because it's a beautiful palette such a long video so many palettes left okay another palette that I have here is the Jeffree Star androgyny palette now this palette to me is similar in scheme to the subculture palette there are differences obviously but I feel like there are a lot of similarities also that you could get the similar type of vibes with each of these palettes when I saw the shade reveal for this one I lost my mind because it's so pretty like it makes sense that Jeffree Star put out something like this because he's more of a unique person but this color scheme spoke to me in such a way this shade sold me on this palette when I saw that I was like oh, okay gotta buy that palette because that shade is absolute perfection and it is and I love it and this shade is such a beautiful transition shade I don't know if you can tell but that is my most used shade hands down dented the stars almost wiped off on one side I don't use this palette as much anymore but I do love it and I think it's good quality all right there you go those are three of the shades I like this palette and I think these shades are beautiful okay next we have two pure palettes here these I have both gotten boxycharm boxycharm has just made my collection grow so much this one is the soiree diaries palette this is another one that's really really good if you're a neutral tone neutral tone neutral tone betch this shade here is one that I wouldn't normally put on my lid don't know why it's not my thing but I did a look which I will link up in the eye or in the description box I did a look with this palette with this one like a chatty get ready with me and oh my god this palette is really good this palette performs well and the colors are beautiful and the shimmers are nice and it's just a really good palette and I know that I went somewhere after I got this and this is the one I brought with me because honestly it's a good it's just a good palette if you can buy this which I don't know if you can go buy it because it's it is a good palette if you need a neutral palette those are three of the shades right there my swatches are getting messy I've been doing this a while but pretty shadows man good palette next this is one of my most recent palettes that I got from boxycharm it's another one from pure and it is this one here I love this palette inspired me to get back into color I was already wanting to but I hadn't like taken the leap and done it and then I got this palette and I immediately made a, a look with these shades here and a couple of these in the crease and it was beautiful and ever since then I've been wearing colorful eyeshadows almost every single day I will say that these four are a little similar in my opinion I feel like they could have done a little bit of variation there but besides that I really like this palette a lot so those are three of the shades right there that's this guy here this guy here and this guy here swatched out super pretty this shade here on the lower lash line really nice really really nice shade oh, I need a break don't look at my breasts okay next I got the two palettes from the Kristen Leanne collection I just got these recently and I've been really really enjoying them this is a perfect little neutral palette if you just need something quick to throw in your bag your everyday shades you have them there and then you have this one coral here coral peach this shade to, to liven it up and give you some jazz if you need it which makes sense since Kristen Leanne's such a colorful person this palette is really really nice for, for that purpose those right there are the three middle shades see they're just nice 
it's a nice everyday palette. If you need an everyday palette and you just want an everyday palette that has a pop of color, that's gonna be a good one for you. And now, if you want a palette that's just all pops of color, it's gonna be the Kristen Leanne Kaleidoscope palette, which was limited edition, so if you didn't get it, I'm so sorry. Look at this palette. These shadows are so good. This green, no, yep. This green here is what I have on my lower lash line right now. This gold shade is so nice. And this shade Corona. Okay, here are some of the shades from this palette. I know I did more swatches on this than any of the other palettes, and that's just because there's so many swatchable shades. Like, there's so many standout shades that it's really hard to narrow it down. But these are the ones that I swatched for you. There's Corona right there. Effing beautiful. This palette's just good. I do not regret purchasing it. Since I've been on this color kick, it has been my bread and butter, for sure. I actually uploaded a photo, a photo, a video, um, doing two looks with the Kristen Leanne collection. I don't know what's going up first, this or that. I've been on a filming spree lately, but if that one is already up, when this goes up, I will link it for you. And I use that palette and I use so many of the colors and it's just gorgeous. I love the look I came up with. The next one I have is another beautiful, colorful palette, and it is from Storybooks Cosmetics, and it is The Burn Book. My husband got this for me for Christmas, and I love it so much. I've only used it once, and that's because for me, this is kind of a collector's item. So every time I open it or use it, it makes me want to die a little bit, but the colors are outstanding. Like, look at those, and they all work so well. I did this beautiful look with it, this cut crease. It was like my second cut crease ever and it came out so nice with this. I, again, I will link it if I'm able to. I don't know how many things I can link, but I use this palette and it is so beautiful, so beautiful. And you know, those are three of the colors right there. Absolutely stunning. And colors aside, the packaging, the packaging. Good shadows, beautiful packaging. I keep this on display on my bookshelf, which is over there, which you cannot see, but I think it's so gorgeous that I keep it on display. And I, my husband's such a sweetheart for getting this for me because I didn't even tell him I wanted it. He just knew it existed and he knew that I would want it and he got it for me and I thought that was amazing. He's such a sweetheart, I love him so much, so much. And we are down to the final five eyeshadow palettes. And these are my ColourPop Okay, the first one I have to show you here is the ColourPop You Had Me Oh Hello palette. This is the first palette that ColourPop decided to include a mirror in, and then none of the ones after that had it, so I don't know what that was about. This is a very pretty palette. Like, look at that. I don't even know what to say except for look at how pretty it is. This palette I think is really good if you want a warm tone palette that also gives you some mauve and pinky tones. <sighs> It's just gorgeous. I love ColourPop eyeshadows too. I know everyone says that and you're probably tired of hearing it, but they're just really good eyeshadows and the palettes are so inexpensive that I just keep buying them because I like the quality and I like the product and I like the price. And look at how beautiful the, the pairings that they put together are. Like, there's a reason people talk about them. That's all I'm saying. So those are three of the shades right there. That's that chocolate one, this beautiful caramel, and this beautiful little purple. That is them swatched right there. Super, super soft shadows, except for the purple. It's a little drier, but it is a purple. But beautiful palette, beautiful shadows, beautiful shades, beautiful formula. I love ColourPop. All right, next we have the She palette. This is such a pretty palette if you want a pinky toned palette. I got this and I do like it, but it's not the most wearable for me because I don't do a lot of pink. And this one is primarily shimmer and I don't do a lot of shimmer. But with that said, the shades, the matte shades that are here are beautiful and the shimmers are pretty if you want shimmers. Nah, back and forth. I do like it. I love this shade. It goes on a lot brighter than it looks like it will. I will show you. Those are the three pinky shades from the bottom. Just super, super pretty if you want like a pinky rosy look. Throw on one of these on the lid. ColourPop shimmers are beautiful. I will swatch some out of the next palette for you because I realize I don't think I have yet but just a very pretty palette. It just depends on what your color scheme is that you like to wear. But I like to collect and I like to wear lots of different colors, so I buy them all. Next is another beautiful one as far as color scheme when you see this, if you haven't seen it before. My God, this is the Element of Surprise palette. First off, packaging, so cute. Color story, are you kidding 
me. This is so pretty. I did the prettiest like purple halo eye with this and I just, I really like this palette. And again, I need to use it more because it's beautiful. Okay, so here are three of the shimmer shades here. So, so pretty. This one on the top, I had actually never swatched before. And my goodness, that is pretty. I wanna use that on my freaking eye. I can't even believe that I've never swatched that before. This is a good thing about this video is I'm finding out things about my eyeshadow collection that I didn't even know about. Um, that shade's gonna get used soon. And did you see how gorgeous those shimmers are? Smooth, pigmented, gorgeous. Just good, just good, man. All right, next. Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Dream Street Palette. This is actually what's on the top portion of my eyes today. And it's another beautiful palette. How pretty are those colors? Honestly, the way she puts colors together is just so, so nice. I love this palette. It's so nice. This shade right here is so pretty for on the lid or on your brow bone. These in the crease are perfect. All of the shimmers that are in here are beautiful. Let me show you. Okay, so here we have the dark shade there and the metallic, right? And then this is the dark shade with the metallic on top. I did a look where I put, the, put it together like this on the lower lash line. These shades are beautiful and they're so pigmented and so blendable and so nice and ColourPop does it right. And Kathleen Lights knows how to put together color. This is just a good, good palette. I don't know if it's still available. I hope it is. So if you don't have it, you can get it because I love it. I use that one actually a lot. As far as the ColourPop palettes go, that one I, I do use quite a bit. I've used more than some of the others. But the last palette I have for you in my whole collection and my last ColourPop one is probably my most used, definitely my most used ColourPop shadow. I don't know if I can say my most used palette in general, but I use it a whole lot. And it is the ColourPop Yes Please palette. As you see, it is dirty, it is beat. It is on the inside too. Look at this palette. Look at this palette. Look at those colors. Are you effing kidding me? This palette blew my mind when I saw it. This shade is beautiful. This freaking orange is beautiful. These browns are beautiful. What is that? Did you hear that? This palette is a win. If you haven't picked this up and you like warm shadows, I really don't know what you're doing with your life. I believe this is $16 and it is pure perfection for warm tone eyeshadows. I'm sorry, it just is. So those are some swatches of the palette there. It's just, I mean, you see it. There's no denying it, it's beautiful. And I love this palette. Out of all the ColourPop palettes, this is the one I would recommend. If you like warm tones, you have to like warm tones, but if you do, this is, that's the one I recommend. That's the one, that's it. I don't know why I keep, you see I look over here like a hundred times? It's because I'm looking at myself in the monitor instead of looking into the, the lens at you. So guys, two makeup wipes down and I have finished this video. My hand is raw, my room is a mess, and I've been sitting here a really long time. This is one of the longest videos I've ever filmed, actually. Okay, guys, that completes this video. Those are all of my eyeshadow palettes. I did not include my Z palettes just because they're a mixture of shadows from different places, and I didn't want to include it in this. If you would like a separate video on that, it'll be a short one. I don't have like a ton of Z palettes, but if you would like one to show you those, I can do that. Just comment down below and let me know. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, I actually enjoyed making it. It took a long time, but I did enjoy it. I enjoyed talking about the eyeshadows and I just enjoyed discovering palettes that I need to pull out and use more of. <sighs> and just get perspective on my collection and see what I have. I enjoyed it a lot. Again, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Once I hit a thousand subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway on whatever's hot and you will have to be subscribed to be entered. So make sure to do that. And that'd be really dope because once I hit a thousand subscribers, YouTube will think I'm relevant again. So that'd be nice. Plus it's free to you and it helps me. You know how you should do one act of kindness a day. How about you subscribing to my tiny little YouTube channel be your act of kindness today? Oh, if you want to follow me on my other social media, my makeup and, you know, that kind of thing, Instagram and Twitter is Bratterstein. I'll put it on the screen here. And then if you're more interested in fitness things, I do post fitness videos every single day, Monday through Friday, and that'll be Fatterstein and I'll put it over here. That's the one that I'm more active on actually, just because I go to the gym every single day and I love it. <laughs>
and thank you so much for hanging out with me on my channel i'll see you in my next video but if you're still watching videos as i suspect you are go ahead and click on one of these two links over here these are videos i uploaded in the past and if you click on my face over here it'll take you to where you can subscribe to my channel because i haven't given you enough ways to do that and real quick before you leave look at my baby sleeping right there there's just the sweetest little things anyways thank you thank you and bye bye